trying to improve the quality of our cutting tools. To do this, some people in the company think we need to improve surface finish. But there's disagreement. Others say we don't. We don't really need to improve surface finish. Do we really need to? And if so, where? A lot of my customers are tool manufacturers, either in high-speed steel or in carbide. And surface finish is a subject that comes up a lot. Okay. Now, in general, a better surface finish is, go or is going to uh, give you a longer tool life in the sense that a better surface finish is going to give you a lower chance of fracture of your tool, micro fracture, macro fracture. Better surface finish will also give you better coating adhesion if you're going to coat your tool later. So here are a couple pictures of various tools that I've received over the years. People saying, oh, my tool didn't do well. Why? Now here's one, this is kind of a end mill style milling cutter. We can see fracture of the tool and fracture of the tool occurred because the grinding scratches were too big. Grinding scratches are a stress initiator, stress concentration, crack initiation point, and we get breaking off of that cutting edge. But look at this tool. We've got a really nice surface finish on one side, but on the side that's probably more important, we've got a really bad surface finish. So you got to ask yourself, where do I want a good surface finish? Here's a tap. Now take a look at that guy. We've got a thread grinding operation and we've got a flute grinding operation. Which is more important in terms of surface finish? Now we want good tolerances for our threading, but the surface finish produced by the fluting is really on that rake face where all that action and all those forces are going to be. So spend more time getting a good surface finish on the cutting edge on the rake face, uh, then on the other side where we're not getting big forces acting on that. Here's a tap, and uh, this tap had a nice, long, happy life. He was worn away, but he was still tapping away, tapping away. Now why was this guy tapping away so long? If you look at him, let's take a look at that uh, cutting edge. Now I'm looking at a kind of mediocre to bad surface finish on the threading and a decent surface finish from the flute grinding operation. And this guy's wear mechanism wasn't fracture, it was just kind of gradual abrasion of the cutting edge. So this guy was doing pretty well with a mediocre surface on top and a pretty good surface on that rake face. Uh, from the fluting operation. So give some thought to where you need to get a good surface finish. I have some companies obsess about trying to get a good surface finish where they don't really need it and then getting a bad surface finish where they do need it. It's a lot of wasted energy. Best surface finish needs to be right on the rake face of that cutting edge.